Welcome back to the morning blend. Well, as a parent, I worry about brain drain. I think we all do. That's because educators are always warning us that during the summer months, kids tend to forget a lot of what they've learned the previous school year. So today we're going to help you get your kids primed to learn again, but we promise this is going to be fun. Yes, it's true. Donna Bazo, aka the lady with the alligator purse, has some great ideas to get your kids back into the learning spirit. You brought tons Yay. of fun stuff. Hey, yes, well, so so totally. To well, that. you know, it's now's the time. You want to clear out the cobwebs, but you don't want to put an end to summer fun. Right. So I yeah. say do both. Make learning fun, right? See, I think I it's great. It. You have some sneaky ways to get in learning while kids are still having fun. Let's start with your easy peasy does it. Some simple mm -hmm. games that you like that, that really don't cost a lot either. Right. You don't have to spend a lot of money. A lot of the stuff you may already have around the house. Like a we, deck of cards. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We like to play a math game. You each um, put down a card and you either add or subtract. Whoever comes up with the sum first takes the cards. You can do oh. that with dice as well for um, children who are learning math. Maybe it's doubles if they don't know how to add or oh, multiply yeah. yet. Yeah. I like what I call ping pong math. It just takes math off the piece of paper. It makes it a little bit more fun. Mm -hmm. So you can do it a variety of ways. But I cut these uh, swim noodles in half. Yeah. And you can go ahead and let them pick sums and um, add right in front of you. Oh, that's so, that fun. Yeah, that's Very cool. Cute. I also say, you know, maybe read a book as a family. We re we read series of unfortunate events. Then throw a little I book party. I love the lemony uh -huh. Snicket Isn't series. Isn't that fun? So yeah. lots of lemonade and yes. lots of lemon candy. And we even play with disguises. You know, that's a big oh, part yeah. of the theme. That's so how fun is that? It makes it, you know. I know. Look at us. How hot are we? <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's Good. awesome. Um, you also say kind of sneak things in, like be sneaky about you know learning. Do things different places that you can you can get them to kind of learn. Sure, sure. So you know you can invest in games. There's lots of games that you can buy, but I also try to find ways to just sort of sneak it into their regular routine. Here are um, shower curtains that teach. You can buy them. I found these at Marvel's Brainstorm, but store. But you can make your own. You know maybe you put math facts on it. Um, you you can write in Sharpie marker or. We just took a real educational trip, so I put questions and answers to things that we just learned, like Thomas Jefferson was our third president. Yeah, um, oh, cool. You know, um, hang uh, words. If they're learning sight words, or if they're learning, you know, particularly hard words or Spanish words, yeah, put words, you know, all over their bedroom, or let them help you decorate with mm -hmm. words. It's oh, really I like fun. That. Yeah, yeah. It sneaks in the learning. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else you got? I see bananagrams up here. That's kind of fun. Yes. Uh, so invest in games that teach. You know, we love this game, the Scramble States of America. In fact, mm -hmm. when I was packing up to leave today. I couldn't find it. And I asked my youngest and she was in bed with her. She's like, oh, mommy, it's in bed with me. <laughs> Scramble Aww. States yeah, of America. It's a kooky way to learn a lot about the states. Okay. Um, I also like to work the breakfast table. You know, um, you have a captive audience. So I love placemats that teach. Here's the president's oh, that's right. I'm going to hold this one up. This is a great Isn't one. Isn't this fantastic? Wow. And yeah. you can find all kinds, math facts, solar systems, um, ocean animals. Um, I also like to start a just started puzzle, like maybe the United States, you know, uh -huh. and just, I don't say anything. It's just there. And they're eating their cereal. Uh, and before you know it, one piece helping. into another. Exactly. It's, I remember that with my grandpa. He loved doing puzzles and it would always be out on a table. No matter what, I wouldn't have been into it on my own, but because he was working on it and it was there and I could see it kind of started, I always wanted to help. You can't resist. No, you can't. You can't resist. Yeah. And I think finding what kids are interested in. My son loves sports, so I get Sports Illustrated Kids. Well, when yeah. he gets a new subscription in the mail, I always put it on his spot at the yeah. breakfast table so that he's getting some reading in, but it's something he's highly interested in. Oh, absolutely. And I think that's a great way to sneak things in or find a book for them that you think they'd be interested in. Just put it at their breakfast spot. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. My girls like science, so I'll put little science things. And it doesn't even have to be, this is a crystal set, but it could just be vinegar and baking soda. They can make a bubbly concoction yeah. of carbon dioxide, you know. Um, I also like to throw Scrabble tiles out on the breakfast table, too, because oh, before yeah. you know it, they're spelling words that they already know, or they're asking me how to spell words. Yeah, so I like that. So all they're learning, and they're not even realizing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like yeah. that. How about going on the road? Because some people are going to take their last-minute trips um, this, oh, right, you know, right, this summer. Yeah. Do you have any ideas for that? Yeah, now's the time to sneak away. If you do have time to sneak in a trip, I say maybe go down to Chicago. It's close. The museums yep. are there. And to maximize time, you know, you can grab a city pass. You save about... 50%, but it gets you to the front of the line at many of the attractions. Yeah, oh, good point. Nice. Which, you know, if you don't have a lot of time, you know, you might be able to hit three or four places yeah, in one day. Yeah, city passes. One day. Yeah, okay. that's a great idea because then you're not wasting time standing in line. You get to mm -hmm. see that much more. Exactly. You maximize your day. Maybe you get two days out of one, yep. you know, in yep. terms yep. of I what you've seen great. and learned. So. I think that's great. You also say feed the school spirit. I mean, this is about the time that school starting, especially kids going to a new school, yes. whether it's grade school, middle school, high school. I think it's, it's, 
it's fun to get them into the spirit of that school. Uh, yeah, you know, um, do you remember how exciting it was? I mean, I have girls going into junior high. I mean, it's just so exciting. It's like Christmas. So yeah. I do everything I can just to make it fun. And uh, this is a really neat um, thing that I just stumbled on. It's called chalk. Board, uh, manicures. You can actually no way. paint uh, uh. little chalkboards. Your nails become little chalkboards, and then the kids can doodle. That's right over I love here. That. Yeah. Look and at this. I just Where do you all find three. that? You know, you can find that online. Um, it's just really fun. It makes it fun. You're feeding into the frenzy. You're making yeah. it exciting, and you're feeding into the spirit. And I think that's that's the number one thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, with the chalkboard, you could you could do in the. Um, Chalk, you could do like their school colors or exactly. like their. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's cool. Exactly. That's, that's very neat. Cool. And all that stuff. So great ideas. I Thank you it. so much, Thank Shana. Thank you so much. We're going to tell people how to visit your website so they can get all of these ideas, see more of them because we ran through them so quickly. It's the lady with the alligator purse dot com. Do you always carry an alligator purse? Sometimes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Don. Always a blast to love have it. you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Always Thank fun. You.